Season 6 is hot garbage, or Season 6 has literally saved Overwatch. I've heard opinions on both sides and everywhere in between, but I'm here to break down from the competitive player's perspective, does Season 6 deliver for Overwatch, what is the current state of the game, and how are things looking for the foreseeable future? Is Overwatch back with a new energy and is actually going to start delivering on what we want as players, or is this the beginning of the end? and this is blizzard just trying to hold on to something that is clearly dying what's the real answer let's break it all down but a real easy way to support me is by pressing that subscribe button and it costs you nothing so please do that and let's get into it now while this is definitely going to be focused on a competitive player's point of view i'm still going to take everything in and i'm going to talk about everything that season six has to offer and how good or bad those things are first off let's just talk about the elephant in the room the pve something that i never personally cared about very much in fact i never really thought that overwatch needed a pve as such i never really grinded archives never really played a lot of the pve events and the ones i did play i thought that they were just okay but that's never the reason i fell in love with overwatch it was mainly the pvp aspect of the game and that's not because i don't like pve games like i'm a super big fan of games like borderlands and a lot of other games that you grind and fight against ai and play with teammates and all that stuff but that's never really what I liked or fell in love with about Overwatch, so when a lot of development cycles was pushing towards this PvE instead of just focusing on the PvP, which I personally really liked instead, it was not really the direction that I wanted for the game. But if it delivered hard enough, I thought maybe it would bring in enough people from the outside to come into the fold, and then eventually those people would be invested into PvP, and then the popularity of the game could kind of fuel the PvP. So that was my idea or the way that I justified, hey, Hey, this is actually a good idea it's really really cool it has potential but then when you don't deliver on a lot of your promises and then the perception of the game and pve as a whole is really negative so none of that positive publicity bringing people into the fold none of that happens at all so as someone who didn't even care about a pve experience in the first place it's definitely disappointing especially now that we got the first product where this game is definitely going to be fun for people that like to grind archive events and it's going to be fun for people that want to get the high score and play against ai but it's not something that is going to bring a whole bunch of people into the fold it's not something that's revolutionary into the industry and it's definitely not what we were promised right it's going to be fun but for people that weren't interested in pve that much this isn't going to be what sells you it's not going to be something that's so revolutionary that you're just like oh i gotta play it oh it's so freaking cool wow yes there's cool lore yes you could go just watch it on you know a different channel just watch the lore and while i do think it's impressive like the scope that they've done here with like the voice acting and things like that it makes absolutely no sense to pull away from the pvp and pull away from overwatch one to develop this as overwatch 2 when really if this was just announced as like overwatch one story mode that was gonna come out and they were working on it and then they just built a story mode and then they just sold a story mode i think people would be uh, completely on board like they could have just done that but instead they closed down shop they honed something that they just don't deliver on and then everyone gets pissed because of course they would why wouldn't you and now seeing it fully here, I can kind of fully summarize my thoughts on the matter, which is it's just disappointing. Like the whole thing, the whole cycle is disappointing. However, Blizzard is kind of turning over a new leaf more or less. And the thing about it that's really important to understand is that Blizzard has said that from now on, they are focusing on the PvP. The thing that they should have focused on since the beginning, now they're going to do it. And I'm just, I'm really happy about that, honestly. I understand that it's disappointing, that there's a lot of missed out content that we didn't see between now and then. There's a game that's been kind of left abandoned or not developed as much as it would have been if PvP was the priority. But the developers now, they can't do anything about the past. They even talked about this, that they can't change anything, right? They can't go back in the past and do everything right, but they can work towards what the game should have been now, which is that PvP, and I think that's a good idea. So to sum it up, yes, I'm frustrated about everything that has happened with PvE and just the transference to Overwatch 2, but I do think that from now on, things might actually be better for the future of the game. And luckily, Season 6 is actually packed with enough stuff that actually boosts my confidence about the future of Overwatch. Number one is the addition of a whole bunch of quality of life features that just make the game feel more fun to grind and play. 
When they said that they were going to bring back player progression, I was like, wow, they're giving us features that they took away. But the new player progression system is just like way better than anything we had in Overwatch 1. It's actually really, really nice. I like to see all the, the stats afterwards. I like to see individual characters rank up. Like it's just a really, really nice change. The practice range got a revitalization and now it actually feels like a place you could legitimately practice instead of just running away from it and going to some custom workshop mode. Even though I do think that that's probably going to be better for most people. It's it's still just nice it's just a nicer overall experience just being able to grind the practice range the new character is really fun to play and i really like the design of the character a very high mechanical skill ceiling character that is going to take a while to master and i just really like that direction for characters overall reminds me a lot of like anna when she was added which i think was the best individual new hero release since the original roster in overwatch and alari is kind of in the same vein maybe not perfect but i do like that overall design and yeah i think that she doesn't like reinvent the wheel or anything like that but i don't think heroes need to in fact as things progress i wouldn't mind if more and more heroes just overlap in a lot of ways because we don't need every hero to do something that just like completely breaks the game wide open it doesn't have to do that just make a solid hero that's fun to play with a high skill ceiling and that's good enough in my personal opinion now this leads directly into the crazy amount of balance changes and i'm gonna have a completely separate video kind of talking about this topic in depth but basically there was a ton of characters that were changed but nothing really got hit really super hard there was nothing that was completely deleted or turned to be absolutely broken in fact i would say that right now the balance of the game is some of the best that we've ever had i know that might be a hot take the game is really really balanced we don't have as many one shots right now yes there is a lot of sustain going on but it's not like you can't kill anything especially with focus fire you can definitely kill things especially if you're not overly focusing on the tank or playing incorrectly which i've talked about a million times but overall i do think that this game the gameplay like the actual loop of the gameplay which is grinding the game it's just fun the meta is good with the new player progression, it actually feels more fun to grind right now. And all in all, I do think that the competitive experience is better than it's ever been outside of one specific thing. And this is the only big problem that right now I think is holding back Overwatch from being just a really, really fun experience right now from a competitive grinding mindset is the rank system. The rank system is still terrible. The rank system is still awful. Right now, the lack of transparency in your rank, the inconsistency in the ranked games, the inconsistency in the rank increase and decrease, and just the entire Grandmaster to Top 500 experience with no decay. And there's just a lot of problems that are going on right now in the rank system. And I really do feel like the Overwatch 1 rank system was just superior in a lot of ways. I do think that it's not impossible to get there. And it seems that every single time that like a patch goes by, it gets a little bit better and better. They're tweaking numbers. They're fixing things slightly. But I really do think that with most heroes in a semi-balanced state, they should really try to hyper-focus on this competitive ranked system. Because it's just the thing that needs the most addressing. And if it was addressed then, you know, I would be just happy with the state of the game. Like, honestly, I would just be straight up happy. I wouldn't really have any big complaints besides, like, more content down the line. But overall, I do think that they're on the right track, okay? There are still problems 100%. But it's really going to depend on the type of player you are, how much fun or how interested you are in Overwatch at this point. How successful you think Season 6 is is going to depend on that. Because from a competitive point of view, I think that Season 6 was actually a success. I think it was actually good and I'm actually looking forward to the future of Overwatch. Where I don't think that there's that many things left on my like checklist that I would actually do in order to make Overwatch kind of the most optimal or semi-optimal version for me personally. But if you're someone that cares more about the PvE aspect of the game and you really wanted that perfect vision for the talent trees and stuff, you're definitely going to be a bit disappointed with this product. Although, if you're someone that is really into PvE stuff in the first place, then you're probably still going to enjoy the story mode. Just, you know, if you compare it to what it could have been, you'll be disappointed. And, you know, comparison is always the thief of joy. If you don't compare it to anything, I think you'll have a fun time. I know that's really hard to do. You know, you always want to compare it to what it could have been. But realistically, it's still going to be fun for you. And it's not going to bring any PvP hard grinders into the PvE fold. 
but it would have had to been so freaking great to do that anyways that yeah it's just whatever the only disappointing part is just like the lack of content like i said for all those years but we can't go back in time we can't fix things but honestly, Overwatch Season 6, in my opinion, is, is a dub. It's, it's actually a good thing for the future of the game. It actually brings some confidence back in me about the future of the game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to say that it's, uh, it's like a 7.5, 8 out of 10. But definitely let me know down below what you like or dislike about Season 6. How do you feel about the future of Overwatch? And uh, what kind of player are you? Are you someone that's really into PvP, PvE? Why do you play Overwatch? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming by. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.